Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To use the brush tool, select it from the toolbox and make sure that the color you want to apply to the image is set as the foreground color. The brush tool shares a spot in the toolbox with the impressionist brush and the color replacement tool. The toolbox will display the last tool you used. The button appears above the paint bucket tool by default in the toolbox. Click the button and then make sure you have the brush tool selected in the tool options bar. Next, ensure you have selected the layer to which you want to add the brush strokes in the Layers panel. The highlighted layer is the one to which the brush strokes will be applied. Oftentimes, if you are trying to apply an effect and it doesn't appear in the image, you simply have the wrong layer selected within the image file. To use the brush tool, just click and drag with the circle that appears in the image to paint. The circle represents the width of your brush. If the lines aren't appearing as you wish, remember that you can reverse your steps in the History panel and try again. Look into the Tool Options bar when the Brush Tool is selected. Here you can set different options that affect how the Brush Tool interacts with the underlying layer of the image. After you've created a brush that contains the brush options that you frequently use, you can save it as a preset tool that you can then access in the future to select the same brush with all of its brush options already set. We will look at how to do this in the next chapter. First, you must learn which options you can set for the brush tool. However, to choose a preset brush, click the Brush Preset Picker drop-down and then double-click a brush preset to use within the menu that appears. To control the size of the brush you are using, use the size slider to set the width of the brush tip to use. You can also type an exact measurement in pixels into the box to the right of the slider. To determine how the brush will apply the color and interact with the color of the pixels it is painting over, use the Mode drop-down. You will examine blending modes in depth in the next lesson. To set the transparency level of the color you are applying, click and drag the Opacity slider to the desired opacity level percentage. To use the current brush tool as an airbrush, click the Airbrush Mode button in the Tool Options bar. This setting lets you apply gradual tones to an image, simulating an airbrush technique. To switch back to the default brush stroke application setting, click the Brush Mode button. To choose what can be controlled by the pen of most pressure-sensitive digitizing tablets, click the Tablet Settings button. Tablets let you paint with a pen tool in your hand instead of using the mouse and keyboard. In the Tablet Settings pop-up menu that appears, check the checkboxes for the options you want the pen on the tablet to be able to control. You can uncheck options you do not want the pen to control. When finished, click the X button in the upper right corner of the panel to close it. To imitate different brush strokes and effects by changing the brush dynamics, click the Brush Settings button to open a panel that lets you change all these settings. These settings will be discussed in detail in the next chapter. You can click the X in the upper right corner of this panel to close it. To paint with the brush tool after applying your desired settings, simply click and drag in the image. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.